What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another cube draft because, god damn, I love them. God, you know, it's just, just beautiful. Mayo and pepper jack. God damn, that's delicious. Nothing, nothing like meatballs, mayo, and pepper jack, man. Oh, Baron, Bar BVV, congrats, buddy. I'm going to call you B BVV from now on. That's actually kind of hard to say, though. Oh. Oh boy, what do we got here? Chase the Mind Sculptor, huh? I guess that's the closest thing to power we're going to get here. That was a dig on Time Twister, just in case no one noticed. Michael's in the other room. I wonder if he's going to wheel on in here like a little like a little rascal. I mean, I, I, Gristlebrand is great. Jace is great. Fallen Shinobi is always my favorite. It will always be bug in my heart. You gotta go with the times. So what do we got here? God, this is tricky. Just mine, Slither, Grizz, Trav. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those things. I, I'm, I'm not a big Underworld Breach fan. And I'll admit most of it is down to just me not knowing exactly how to play it. Like, I'm just not great with it. So I know my limitations, and I know what decks I'm drawn to, and I, I, I try to play those. I can also take Tooth and Nail, because that card's a a big old banana. Shoot, I think we're going to go with the Jace. No, it's got to be Gristlebrand. That gives us cool shit to do. Oh, Channel, though? Oh, but a Mox Sapphire? Come on, what are you what are you doing? Now nah, I wish I took the Jace, but, you know, that's fine. Shinobi might wheel. Hell, Jace might wheel. This cube has been weird. I do want channel, but I'm just going to take Mox Sapphire because, you know, obvious reasons. So if it dies before it goes to the graveyard, do you still exile it? Because I think we do want this. Easy pick. So, yeah, that makes me think the person either picked a Lotus... Do like a Rona, especially as a discard outlet. Also, sneak attack. God, are we doing this again? Yeah, they probably did pick Thalia. We could pick Rona and just stick with black, blue. Rona is actually Chef's Kiss. I've I've actually loved that. That card is such a good addition. Like the fact that it's just a one three looter. It doesn't cost any mana to loot, which is extremely rare these days. Uh, it can untap and loot a second time. And then you can transform it to make it an actual competitive threat. Like, it's just very, very good. <sighs> oh, what did you miss? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Well, we went... I think we went 2-1 twice. No, I think we went 1-2 with Kerwitz Cube. Kerwitz Draft. But then also we... Um, I'm going to sneak. I, I just... I think sneaking is correct. Oh, Liliana? Liliana's a good discard outlet. All right. All right. We're in the zone. I like a Duretti. All right. We'll Duretti. Oh, now, now it's all dried up. I, I kind of like the idea of having Displacer Kitten and then blinking with the guys we put into play with, like, Sneak Attack, because then we just get to keep them forever. I'll take this because of that. Oh, actually, no, this... I was like, maybe we play this, and then we can actually um, cast it for three to get back something like Gorgo's Vengeance, but it's double blue, so that's sad. Those are tendrils. I guess we'll just take Blood Chief's Thirst. I mean, this pack's not good if we're any Grixis colors that aren't Storm, so it's not really a big deal, but... Rob wants to take Dark Depths. Dark Depths. 
Look, look, look with your special eyes. Oh, God. I mean, unbelievable. This is literally the two, two colors we are not even considering. Green, green, green. I'll just take the Godless Shrine just in case something happens. Man, these packs are really rough now. I feel like the beginning was nice. Yeah, also if we get like a like a white red fetch land, this is a black source for now, so. Oh, look, a plateau. So the same can be done. Like, now we have a legitimate Thanks. way to splash white, so. Here's a... <laughs> Here's a discard outlet. Oh, Neon Tokyo with a resub. Appreciate you, buddy. Also, Gorgias is an instant, so it does fulfill the same kind of role as Shallow Grave. <sighs> so we can toss, like, a... Eldrazi in the graveyard and get it back. I burnt my tongue on something. It really hurts, but I don't know what it was. I'm going to take Dak Faden, I think. Kologon's Command is very good. And those are probably the only two cards I even consider really out of here. Dark Ritual, I guess. Dark Ritual is very good. Is it better than Dak? I don't know. I'm going to say no. Coalition Relic seems good for um, a deck that's trying to play three colors. Infernal Grasp, not terrible. Grim Monolith, very, very good. But also, eh, it's probably just Grim Monolith. The problem is, like, this comes down in two. And if we go red, red, Grim Monolith, we can go Sneak Attack, Activate on turn four three and I like we already have enough things to do on turn three that I'm kind of leaning towards Grim Monolith yeah I'm gonna take the Monolith here it just feels better for my soul I think I'm just taking Shieldred it's just a solid card and if we don't end up being reanimator like it's just a great uh, Golgari no, uh, <laughs> Grixis mid-range card yeah, I'll just take Steam Vents here. Although I do like Raisin Bar. Or I do want to have some lands that help us cast our cards. See, Arid Mesa. Now it gets a Steam Vents and a Godless Shrine. Also Ashen Rider, which is pretty good. It's not legendary, though, which is a problem, because Gorgo's Vengeance is not going to do anything for it. So, that being the case, it actually could be Phyrexian Tower as well. Or it could just be Sulphurous Springs. I think it's actually <sighs> Sulphurous Springs here. No, we're going to take Garrett Mesa. It's just, it's just so much better. Xander's Lounge over in Exhum. Fascinating. Also, Agent of Treasury. Yeah, it's a Tri-Land. I think we just have to take the Tri-Land. Necromancy. See, we got rewarded with a Necromancy. Beautiful. I do like a Scarab God, but I'd rather... Oh, a Traxa? Oh, man. That's actually absolutely the best thing we could have asked for. And the Colagons and the Dark Ritual come back. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's... Wow. That is really something. Um... God, 
Kolagon's command is so good, but Dark Ritual is just like turn two shouldered. I'm take I gotta take the Dark Ritual, right? I'm not sure if that was correct, but. I'll take Talisman, whatever. And then like, you just get a bunch of green and white cards toward the end. It's really weird. Oh, the Shallow Grave came back. That's good for a Trax and Bristlebrand, so. Oh, the Ashen Rider came back as well. Yeah, okay. This was a wild pack. Also, if we're only splashing for like Fallen Shinobi and Dak, it's actually just fine. This looks pretty good so far. Uh, I'll take the Valkyrie, because... I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's a creature. We can discard it and reanimate it. <laughs> Are we going to? Probably not. What do we got here? Misty Rainforest gets only Steam Vents and Xander's Lounge. Not the best. It's our two off colors. Rakdos Signet might be the pick here. I do like a Doretti. Sphinx of Steel one's pretty meh. I think it's just Rakdos Signet here. Could also be Damnation, to be quite honest. It feels like a very damnation-y deck. We have, like, no creatures. Yeah, I'm going to take the damnation, I think. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to go with damnation. It feels right. It feels right. I feel like we can splash Fracture Identity actually pretty easily. Are we a Through the Breach deck? Crystal Marine National I think we are. I think we're breaching here. I think we could also get at least one Eldrazi. Oh, look, I found one. I don't know if that's the one we want. We want Annihilator Eldrazi. It's like, let's be honest. I like Volcanic Island. Mox Diamond and Treachery are both nice, but this is double blue, and I don't think we're in a double blue world. There's also an Entomb. I think it is Entomb. I mean, I, I feel like at least one of these cards might come back between Thoughtseize, Volcanic Island, Mox Diamond, or Fiery Confluence, or Rulamog. So I'm going to take Entomb because that's what we want to do. Put him in the ground. Um, it's a late Splinter Twin. That's a miscalculation. Bone Shards is probably fine. Especially because, again, it lets us discard. So, sure. Black Cleaf Cliffs could be nice. I like Fury a lot. I think this card's very strong. I think we want the fixing, though, I'll be honest. I think we're just fixing at this point. Nothing in here is any good for us, unfortunately. Just take Rabble Master, I guess. Oh, Zealous Conscripts. Wow, that's a lead Zealous Conscripts. Plus a Pester Might. <laughs> Tinker? Wow, that's a late Tinker. I mean, I'm just taking the Tinker. We got to ready to make artifacts. We can just Tinker something. We'll find a, a, a like a big fat artifact, right? Hey, look, it's a big fat artifact. I mean, unfortunately, we just have Grim, <laughs> Grim Monolith and Duretti. <laughs> so we're going to take... Doretti again. Double Dorettis. 
I think Glorbringer is actually just a fine creature. Especially when we can, like, Grim Monolith Dark Ritual it out. Yep, Pirate Confluence and Thoughtseize came back. That's really good. And now we even need to cut. God, his Fallen Shinobi. We just don't have a lot of creatures. I guess we can cut Emberth Shieldbreaker in the main deck. That is a late Minsk and Boo. I mean, we're not going to play Splinter Twin. Oh, wow. Belfal Strix and Fury came back? Now we're just taking Belfal Strix and playing off of... Uh... Now we're playing in Fallen Shinobi as well. <laughs> so we need one cut here. That's wild, dude. kind of don't care about Blood Chief's Thirst. <sighs> Arid Mesa, Cliffs, Godless Shrine. We don't need Plateau because Arid Mesa just gets a mountain. It also gets Steam Vents and Xanders and Mox. All right. Please don't tinker your owl in the chat. It's not appropriate. Uh, definitely not one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? No. Seven. No. Eight. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, ten. That's pretty good. I'm in. In it to win it. And then for blue sources, we have one two, three, four, five. That seems just fine. Uh, they're putting in a green for Atraxa. That is true. They don't know that, I guess, though. They don't know my plans. Oh, I do like a screenshot. Smart. I mean, we, yeah, we have no, if we had like Coalition Relic and like a bunch of other ways to fix, I'd be down with that. I'd be down with a Minsk and Boo, but. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, if this was a Temple Garden, yeah, then we'd have Arid Mesa Temple Garden. That'd be pretty good. Where's our opponents? Opponents, where are you? I want to make sure there's nothing in here that we don't want. I mean, honestly, even through the breaching, like a Fallen Shinobi when they have no blockers, it still could still get the job done. We have both Shallow Grave and Goryos, and we have a, f a few enough creatures that it's probably going to be fine to to finagle something. Wow, that's a great hand. <sighs> sure. Keep. Uh, we have Sneak Attack and Ashen Rider. So I think we're going to put back... And we do have Dak. Also, if we go Sneak Attack on turn 4, on turn 5 we can sneak this in. And then bounce it back with Ash. That seems pretty good. Let's get rid of Glorbringer. <laughs> because of that. If we can live that dream, I'm going to be real excited. If we can... <laughs> the Minsk and Boo sound clip. Yeah, that's a... That's a banger. Mock Sapphire. That's... Still not terrible.
Oh. That's fascinating. So next turn, we have three, four. I mean, Ashen Rider next turn just seems pretty good, right? Oh, no. Maybe I'll just Dak and steal that. Three, four. One, two, three. Hey, I can have this? Oh, no. Uh, sure. What do you get to keep? Muldrifter and one land. Okay, so you kept these three. Got it. Give me that mux. Um, so we can actually play this this turn. The next turn we can go one, and then one, two, three, four. So fingers crossed that works. Not the plague, what up? My duty dungeon. <laughs> Is that the toilet? Two million Prussian francs. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh no, what have I done? Ugh, God. Should have just kept it in the hand, you know? I mean, I think we just play Fallen Shinobi here. <sighs> oh, you're too much. You stop it. You get out of here. <laughs> oh, wow. They're doing really well for themselves. Congratulations. Jesus Christ. Just don't put the sneak attack down unless you're going to fucking activate it. That's all, you stupid idiot. Just keep it in your hand. Uh, through the breach one time. Shallow grave. Is there an artifact we can gain control of? No. Okay. Zealous conscripts. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, and we got a shallow grave. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, that's probably the ticket, right? I guess we can get rid of Entomb. And Ashen Rider. Oh, yeah, they were doing that. Let's get rid of Entomb. And then... Ashen Rider. Let's kill Treachery. Let's kill Elspeth. What? No! Dang. Oh well. I'll <laughs> still use the ability, I guess. Ugh, that was so unfortunate. But I mean, it still worked out quite well, I guess. So. And we know they have these three. I guess they could actually go Arcane Proxy to path our Fallen Shinobi as well. I mean, we're almost at a point where we can, like, hard cast Gristlebrand. Yep, there it is. We 
Yeah, I think I will use that ability. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, if we have one more, one more, one more land, and we can just cast him. And if we don't draw land, we're drawing a spell. So that's kind of cool too. That's fascinating. Too bad there's nothing in there. Do they have anything? They have a mole drifter. Hmm. I think we wait till Elspeth gets really big and then we just steal it and use the ability. Does that sound good? I guess so. So they played Proxy, they played Hollow Fountain, they played Wall. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Pass it up, I guess. Also, they're in our chat, so that's cool. <laughs> so... It's really fucking weird to ghost on a vintage cube. Like the most casual, fun format there is. And it's like, oh. Like I can't win without <laughs> seeing what you're doing. So. we'll just hard cast this guy maybe i mean they might not be but it's like it's still unsettling like don't be in someone's chat man like like if i'm playing against you like it's just bad it's just bad form wow <laughs> that's, boy that's a hand isn't it let's get rid of that i guess uh we can get a gala shrine and play mox and then So they're definitely going to Council's Judgment or Gristlebrand. Do we not want to... Do we want to go to six? I don't think so. Are we just dead? Four, five... We block one. We take five. We go to three. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not going to attack here. Hmm. Well, at least Chrome Mox is a blank, right? <laughs> That's a good draw. You got it.
That's still actually kind of fine, I guess. Because they can't activate Colonnade and play Council's Judgment, so... Yep. Okay, so I think this is fine. I'm not actually sure how this happened, but block you, just chump block you. Okay, so we know they can't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. I mean, we're definitely not going to play cards that just straight kill us. <laughs> like, we know they have Council's Judgment, so we're definitely not going to play Gristlebrand. And then if if they emblem, then it's just way worse for us. So, and this is weird. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So, like... Yeah, we can definitely, I mean, I'm definitely thinking of throwing through the breaching this guy. One, two, three, four, five. But I kind of want to do it when we have shouldered in play. <sighs> We could also play this guy, kill their 2-2. Two, two. I kind of like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this feels this feels okay. Yeah, and they can Council's Judgment this guy, but then we go to one, and then we can actually play Shouldered and through the Breach Gristlebrand. <clears throat> but I can't imagine... Yep. They named Zealous. I will also name Zealous. Yep, going to one. That's gone. You have Chrome Mox and one other card. Yeah, Caracas being up is rough. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have t one, two, so this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Problem is they get two Caracas activations here. Yeah, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. Uh, we can ask Liliana here. Each discard. I don't know if that's anything. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is a tricky turn. Um, they do this. They bounce this. Okay, I think we figured it out. So we're going to activate this and fascinating. One, two. Okay, that's helpful. Seems good. Or is Vengeance now? If they want to bounce it. Oh, interesting. Cast. A splice on Arcane Mage. Cast on Arcane Mage. Realist card from your hand and pay it splice. If you do add the card that affects that spell. Sure. I don't have enough mana for that. What am I thinking? Children. <laughs> Are we doing it beginning of combat? <sighs> Fingers crossed. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Like, we just replay it. Oh, cool. Bouncing Gristle. And now we just get to keep it forever, right? Hello? Hello? Here comes Katie. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Sure. How you doing, babe? You ever just take a nap? I have actually taken a nap. And then you woke up and you don't know what decade you're in. Hmm. That does sound interesting. How's that happen? This is pretty good. Okay, we're actually going to choose none. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, eight, eight. Kill this. Black. Discard a steam vents, I guess. 
Somebody's warning you you only have five cards left. Yeah, I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine mana. One, two, three, four. So I'm actually shy. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Sorry, Nick Joseph 77 specifically is sent that. Okay. Sorry, this game is really close and I'm trying to focus. Sorry. Love you, babe. Have a good time, son. Okay, thanks, Paul. Boy, this Caracas is really, really doing some work for him, huh? We're also just not untapping Grim Monolith. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? And their thing is tapped? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. This is five. Five and eight. How are they dead? What am I missing? Oh, because I got this guy. <laughs> I actually forgot about that guy. That's kind of funny. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Really? This is hilarious. Just draw a counter spell. It's pretty good. Hmm. It's really an uphill battle here. Hmm, and that's something. Well, we're still alive here, so that's good. So we know they have Chrome Mox in hand. Discard one. Draw one, sure. We're definitely just getting rid of one of these other guys. Okay, now they go to three. Oh boy, this is, there's a lot of intensity here. Now we will untap this one, two, three, four. It's got two cards left in the deck. That's actually kind of funny because our guys are invincible, so. I guess we should have damnation first. Me no no. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy. Just to be clear, the only artifact we have is the stupid Baleful Strix, right?
I mean, we're at five. Like, I'm not really super concerned here. Oh, and now we're going to gain like a million? That's interesting. Yep, you got it. So they're going to go to six. I wonder what the last two cards are. They can get rid of this. I mean, their draws have been really good. I don't think they've hit a single land since we thought seized them, so. There's literally like Venser, Force of Negation, Solitude. <laughs> Incredible. This is stupid. This is really exhausting. <laughs> I bet they're lands. I bet they're two lands. Here's one. Duretti. That's hilarious. It literally isn't even a win condition. <sighs> Do we have any way to make them draw cards? No. Wow. This is amazing. What an exhausting match. Might as well see what it can do. Cool. Just good to know. Amazing draws. <laughs> Five in a row, man. Seems good. Um, sure. Actually, Rival Master might be fine. I just, like, we don't have a ton of... Damnation actually seems like we can cut out. Uh, why no Damnation? It doesn't do anything. We have one card in our library. I mean, I can kill their guys and then lose on the next turn, but not, uh... <laughs> not the best use of time when we have 11 minutes on the clock and we have to win two games. I'm pretty sure I threw that game at, at multiple different multiple different points. So, solid. It's actually pretty good. Um, let's get rid of the Galda Shrine. Hmm. Any red source is a turn three sneak attack with. I guess I guess our red source is also just Grim Monolith, right? Or no, I, I, we don't need anything. Is what I'm saying. Ashen Rider into through the breach is pretty good.
Yep. What up, TPO? Get island and <laughs> dummy. <laughs> nice. Good recovery. Palace Jailer. Fascinating. Oh, uh, yes, got married last weekend. Seems good. Bounce sneak attack. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, God. See, this is what I mean. Like, it's just... Come on, why aren't you legendary, dude? For real? Oh, and they took two? Wow. So they have a Venser, is what you're saying? So they're gonna go Venser, bounce our blocker, drop Liliana. Wall of Omens, huh? They didn't cast it, how weird. Sure, Wandering Emperor, just fine. We actually have like two minutes less than them now, so that's just fine, I guess. Yep, definitely blocking this. That is a gentleman, isn't it? Let's do some separating, huh? Wow, is this, what, how do I? Uh-huh, where's the rest of them? How do I get to all of them? What? Are you, this is a joke? Oh, there's a button here. I got it. Okay. So this is white. So we'll go white mana, white mana. This is complicated. Uh, creature, creature. I think this is fine, right? They either lose this or this. Like, sure.
Actually, we'll just keep this in hand because it gives them something they can't Teferi. And we can untap our Grimmolith instead. And then we can just put Gristlebrand into play. Like, like a true gentleman. Cast him like a man. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's get a little sneaky. Don't you want to get sneaky with me? Um, I hope they don't have path, I guess. Elspeth is definitely the bigger threat. Fascinating. Uh, nothing. We, can, we can't play anything for two. Oh, we can play Ashen Rider, can't we? <laughs> we can just Ashen Rider and then Shallow Grave it. That's interesting. We got three mana. Oh, Shallow Grave pulls up Baleful Strix, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll just wait till Gristlebrand dies. We also have five minutes on the clock now. It's much worse. Ah, yes, Caracas. A classic. Bunch of legends in my hand. Why exert? Just to make sure they don't have a board, basically. Oh, in tomb. Could be just Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, I don't think we need cards here. Yeah, let's get in there. Cool. <laughs> Literal nothing. <laughs> Love it. They go to four. They go to six here, so. Seems good. <sighs> wow. Oh, boy. The draws are very good. Block with Colonnade? No, no block with Colonnade. Uh, 
That's interesting. We're definitely going to play this guy. What are we stealing Krakus with? Cells, conscripts? I mean, they just tap it in response, right? And we never get to use it, right? And then they just get it back. I guess if we're talking about sneaking attack something, I mean, it untaps it, but they still get to use, I'm like, like it doesn't, they don't, oh, you're saying to get back our shieldred. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's pretty good. We went with the alternate line of necromancying. Also, the timer's making this a little easier now because this is uh, some, some thought they're giving it. Sure. Now they're at three. We have two lethal threats that can't be caracas Now we gain some life. Sure. Of course, it exiles it. That's unfortunate. And they had exactly enough to cast that, even with Caracas bouncing. So, yeah. It's, go it's all going well. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so fucking hilarious. Oh, God. And they all, oh, look at they still got Caracas up. Look at that. We got zealous conscripts. They might just be dead here. You know, God willing. Okie dokie. Wow. Jesus. Whoo. I'm dead inside. Time to just bring in some of these these dirtily dudes that just get in there, you know? Yeah, I think Duretti might be worse than, like, Woestrider. They're about a minute and a half more than us. So I'm going to ignore chat and I'm just going to play like my life depends on it. Keep. Give me that mox turn one for crying out loud. No? Okay. Well, I tried. Oh, that's interesting. Does that do anything? Um, yeah, it does. Uh, we'll say blue and Traxa. Any order. Gorios! Oreos Vengeance. That's good. That's beautiful. Really? Sure. Damage is done, my man. That's interesting. Yeah, the attracts a trigger is actually kind of uh, frightening. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow. That's hilarious. Haven't seen that all game. Okay, we're just gonna get everything quick. Uh, swamp, creature's gonna be Shieldred, Necromancy, Woestrider, Thoughtseize, Dakfaden, Shallow Grave. Uh, am I missing anything? No Entomb, okay. Do I have a Thoughtseize, do I have a, what am I missing? I got two creatures, done. Choose a sorcery land and or creature. Choose a sorcery and or land. Did I not do that? This is terrible. What? <laughs> what in the absolute fuck? Oh my god. What was the other sorcery I had? That's fucking terrible. <sighs> Shallow Grave is an instant. 100%. What did I have selected? Shallow Grave is an instant. Did I have into I unselected in tomb. It said choose a sorcery or land. I had one land selected. I had one sorcery selected. I unselected in tomb. Like it literally was not selected. Come on, you know they're gonna have Path to Exile, right? Yep, there it is. Never don't have it. <sighs> Thoughtseize was my only sorcery selected. It was the only sorcery available. I did not have Bone Shard selected. I unselected Woe Strider when I realized I had Shouldered and it still didn't let me do it. So I don't know. That's fucking hilarious. <sighs> Hilariously frustrating. I would love to like watch that 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 replay. And also, why did it give me nothing when I like I don't do you have to select every single type? Like <laughs> You may put a card type. I why couldn't I just select the ones I ha I don't understand, dude. I'm so frustratingly mad. <laughs> did they bounce their own interesting? I'm not winning the clock battle. They have 320. I have 148. I'm like a minute and a half behind, which is not going to get us anywhere. Sure, I'll take two. How about a gristle brand for a million dollars? No. Oh, it's got ward, so it doesn't do anything. Cool. So it gets countered and I get drug card. <laughs> I'm like loving this. I'm just fucking done, dude. Don't even care. It's so obnoxious. And they were in our chat the whole time, so it's like, cool. Uh, wonderful. Yeah, it's definitely hard to just forget about. I agree that is the correct play, but it's just not super easy to do.
I mean, I, I honestly can't say if they're sniping, but they've been in the chat the whole time. So it's like, it's just a weird thing to do. Like. And I'll be honest, like when I see someone in my chat, when I'm playing against them, like it's super tilting. Like, I feel like they're watching me. It's a very weird feeling. It's like if you're playing a match in person and your opponent just gets up and walks around the table and like watches your plays. Like it's super fucking tilting because it's like, you're trying to like be confident, but it's like, it really reduces a lot of your confidence because you feel like you can't do anything secretly in the game. Like it feels like you're like, you're being watched. Right. And one of the biggest parts of magic is like, it's a game of information. So like, if you know all my information, like nothing I do is strategic. Nothing I do is surprising. So it just feels like I feel exposed and it's really, really tilting. Like it gives me anxiety and it makes me feel really shitty. So it's like, that was definitely affecting my play as well. I'm just like super uncomfortable when I see like the person I'm playing against in my chat. I'm actually not sure how the palace jailer interaction works. Maybe. No, it's no, it has nothing to do with palace jailer. It has to do with the monarch. If you're not the, if you're, when you're the, when you're, when you, when they lose the monarchy, that's when you gain control of whatever they took. I mean, he might have. That's the thing. Like, some people see my name and they're like, oh, let's see if he's streaming. Oh, cool. I'll pop up his stream. Like, I don't know. But it's weird. Like, you're obviously watching a stream. Or, or maybe you put it up after. And then, like, I call you out in the chat, but you don't say anything, right? So it's like... Like, that makes me think you're not watching the stream or else you would have said like, Oh, Hey man, I'm watching your stream. Let me turn it off. Or Hey, I'm a fan or like whatever you would have engaged with me in some way as a person who is watching the stream casually. Right. So like, if you're not watching the stream casually, you probably put it on when we got paired, right. To see. So I don't know. Oh, that's funny because I'd actually rather kill that guy. That's even better. Big. Okay, let's see if this works this time because that would be cool. I would love for it to work. Okay. Instant. We'll go with a dark ritual. Enchantment Necromancy. Creature Gristlebrand. Instant creature enchantment, and we get a land here. I guess we'll take a Xandar's Lounge. Maybe. Sure. Done. <laughs> I like that they don't let you take fewer than the number of cards you can get. You know what I mean? Like, I can't not take a land. They're going to make me take a land. And it doesn't actually tell me like what I have doubles of. Like it's, like it's really hard to see. And that you're not showing me the card type. So like I have to like zoom in on everything. Right. Clearly I had something illegally selected. I just have no idea what it was. And I was pretty clear that it wasn't. I mean, I, I unselected all the things that I had, you know? I, I usually do that. I literally go through every type and pick one of those types. I just didn't really have the luxury of doing that because I had two minutes on the clock, so I was selecting quickly.
It is very hard to tell. You're correct. They just attacked with that guy. Oh boy, they're giving us the artifact. Attack artifact from your artifact from your graveyard. Okay, so that's not strictly Goblin Welder. Oof. Oh, that's an artifact though. That's pretty good. That's actually really good because now we can actually cast Damnation, and they can just get a couple of three ones or one ones. Ooh, sacking a Thopter with that guy out is pretty good. I don't know what the alternative is, though. Like, what else What else can we do, you know? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this guy costs nine. But I sure wish the Atraxa was still in the graveyard. This guy dies immediately. I mean, we're just going to do this. Is it just tap? Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think we still have to, I'll be honest. Like, maybe they miss it. They don't miss it, but whatever. It feels bad, but we have no other really great plays. Plus, like, oh, they didn't do it. Plus, the bigger Lodestone Golem get, or the bigger Hangerback Walker gets, the worse it is, so... It's a bummer you couldn't kill that. I did kill the walker. You saw it happen. <laughs> oh, yes. Before the damnation. Agreed. If I can get an untapped land, we can play Gristlebrand. That would be kind of cool. They're also at seven. Like, that's a three-turn... That's three turns of whiffs, and then we're one, two, three. That's good enough, right? Dark Ritual. It's your girl. I will discard this fine gentleman. One, two. Beautiful baby gristle brand. And then we're gonna draw seven cards today. Wee, that's a lot of cards. Play a land. We do have a deck now. They figured it out. They found the secret. Oh boy, they f oh they're they're gonna double it. <sighs> Big doubles. Check it and see. Can they do it again? No. Just the ones, huh? Got it. Go to four. Oh! They went to four. All right. Two flips and they lose. One flip with a shielder down, right? Oh, no. We just played Dak and then killed them with shielder, right? One, two. Wow. That's a bummer. Why did that? Why did he do that? Why would he do that? I cannot believe you've done this. I mean, they probably just needed cards. They had, this is the only card they discarded. They probably had one card in hand. Like, I mean, it makes sense when you can draw seven cards to draw seven cards. Yeah, this is, this is smart. But they still got their mana crypt out. Do 
they're ready. Is it signal? Okay. I mean, this guy kills them, right? So. Actually, we're going <laughs> to. Yeah. I mean, we're going to draw seven here and go to four cards in our library because I feel like we just find the win, right? Yeah, Zealous Conscripts wins the game. Hello, everybody. I mean, they might just sack it in response. No, they didn't. They could have. Wow. Could have sacked it in response. I mean, we're still way ahead. Like, right, we're at a million life and they have two life with a mana crypt out. So I'm not like... And we still get to keep uh, Zealous Conscripts no matter what. So I'm not really... Uh, Ember of Shieldbreaker, you are at your best here. I'm making Totinos. I don't give a fuck. Okay, well that's your that's your right to do. I'm wondering if Rabble Master is just pretty good here. Um, don't think I care about Damnation that much, to be honest. Let's play 41. Conscripts has probably has a very high win percentage. Yeah, there's so many good things you can steal and utilize, which I know sounds silly, but. You know, it's true. There's a sorcery, right? Okay. Hmm, boy. This was a real emotional roller coaster. Also, once I have like once I have like a minute or two on a clock in a game, every game after that I feel immensely stressed and pressured. Like I feel like the clock is still low and I still have to take my I still have to rush. Like it takes a while to like to slow my brain down to like realize, okay, cool. I have 20 minutes on the clock. I can take more time with my plays. Oh boy. As much as I want you to take 14 million damage. It's weird they didn't, it's, it's where they didn't have that on turn one, you know? They could have went Mountain, Mana Crypt, Realm, Bravo Master, but I guess they drew one of those three pieces. Okay. Well. I do wish I had an extra mana here. But. Alas. We do not. Riffling Class Gate was the highest percentage of winning deck. That's wild. That's such cool data that you can get from Magic Online that you just can't get from, like, real-life cube drafting, you know? City of Traitors. This is really interesting. Hmm, fascinating. Play this in case we draw Xandar's Lounge. It was just a land. Well, now we can kill Rabble Master at least. God, I wonder how many artifacts they got in their hand. Four now! <laughs> Are we just gonna lose straight up to our album master? Well, it sure feels like it. Three, four, five, six. 
Just get in there with that middle worker too, man. There you go. Go to six. Go to four. That's even worse. Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. That does something at the very least. Um, I think we want a dark ritual here for the, for all this nonsense because then we can still play Embereth Breaky Boy. I think I want a Traxa because I don't want to pay life to do the thing. All right, at least we have the time to properly analyze a pile here. There is one creature, one artifact, one enchant... No, there's two enchantments. One planeswalker. It's definitely this one. Uh, bone shards. Mesa. And which one of these enchantments do we take? Probably the one that gets a creature back permanently, correct? Yeah, because we have Liliana. Okay. That felt okay. And we had another land? I didn't even realize. Wow, what a time to be alive. I guess we'll attack here. Okay, we get to go to a million now. But how do we... We can necromancy a Baleful Strix. That seems worse than just like... Yeah, I might just be... Oh, actually, we got this. I was like, oh, maybe it's maybe we play this guy and then suck it to kill this. And I'm like, oh, that's stupid. This actually puts it back in the graveyard, doesn't it? That's actually great, because now we can just necromancy it next turn. Holy crap. That's a banger. Yeah, we'll just play this guy. Oh, uh, we don't have three mana, so the answer was no. Michael B's taking a little poop. Oh boy, they got, are they going to attacks or are they? We're at 11 now, so I actually feel like this game is much better. Uh, until they go something. Oh, okay, there's plenty of land. City of Traders is a weird addition. Like, I just don't think it's necessary. Hmm. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Nothing like having your birthday crap streamed live. That's... That's funny. I'm a fan. Yeah, we're definitely blocking now. Now we play the preserved life total game. We could also steal this and I guess do nothing with it. I'm pretty sure we're just getting a tracks out here, right? There she goes again. What beautiful cards do we hit this time? Oh, okay. Dude, Hunter just keeps walking back and forth and he keeps trampling over everything on the floor and it's just kind of like, dude, sit down or go somewhere else or... Okay. Instant. We get one of these two. Probably Shallow Grave. Shieldred... Um, mountain, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we'll get a swamp here. Dak Faden. I think that's it, right? We get creature, instant planeswalker land, right? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll play Grimmy. Grimothy. And now we have to discard two cards. Fine. I accept. I'm just going to discard lands. Our hand is too good to see anything else happen. We can either... Oh, we actually, we could have, like, discarded Creature, maybe, and then Shallow Grave plus Dak Fade in the next turn. Who knows? They got to deal with this in their blue-red deck, though. That doesn't seem great. They got a Retrofitter and a Mountain. Two cards left, so they have two and these two. One and these two. Okay. Treachery. Retrofitter's gone. That's a free card with the Tolerate Academy. They're going to treachery. We know they're going to treachery. Everybody knows. Oh, they're going to reveal this and cast a Worm Coil? One, two, three, four, five. We can actually steal it and then sacrifice it with Liliana. That'd be kind of cool. Big wormy, check it and see. Why sack it? Just take it with Dak. Yeah, I didn't get there yet, to be honest with you. What just happened? Oh, they did they discard. What just happened? What is happening? I'm gonna steal it. With Count Dacula. One. We can still play Shieldred. Give me this. Give me this worm. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I think it's just Shieldred, let's be honest. So they have uh, they have access to two cards and that's it. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, please char yourself. That would be amazing. Do it. That would be so sick. Oh, they didn't char themselves. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, I miss Lethal. That's too bad. I mean, honestly, I don't... I feel like I actually don't play enough Magic currently to um, to see every line anymore. Like, it's just not a thing. But yes, you're right. That would have been very good. Could say the same thing about the opponent when they didn't draw themselves. That's true, yeah. Realest thing an MDJ streamer has ever said. Yeah, it's like, I mean, when I was playing Magic, like, for a job and I was writing two articles a week and, you know, streaming full time and attending events, like, you know, I was, I was, I had a lot more reps with cards like Shieldred and cards like uh, Atraxa and things like that. So, like, it's a lot easier to see those lines. Whereas, like, now I'm like, Oh yeah, Shieldred also is on the board and she deals them two for every card they draw. Wait, I don't think that wouldn't have worked. How would that have worked? Because they draw two as well. Oh, they don't gain from drawing. So they draw two, gain nothing. See, this is what I mean. Like I'm working it out in my head right now. 
Yeah, they they died at no, they were at they were at four. So they could have charred themselves and gone to negative two. Um this is this is pretty good. Bone shards is nice because it kills anything and we can discard a fat daddy and then we can necromancy. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, you're just going to play the mox with nothing to do with it, with all your strength. Oh, wow. I guess they did have something to do with it. Oh boy, they're coming out of the gates. The opponent is going commando, you ain't kidding. The emperor has no clothes. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Let's discard a card. They got a palace jailer, eh? This guy, she's our creature, this one. Discard this guy. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And next turn we necromancy Ashen Rider. You know, if they let us, right? Hmm. Are they not going to play anything? Because that's kind of cool. Oh. <sighs> I don't know why I picked anything. I should have picked our guy. I say I didn't even realize that this exiles it instead. Cool casual fucking containment priest. Must be nice. They have four cards, so I'm sure they'll just have an answer to this. I'm sure they're going to path and or swords it on their upkeep. Yep, there it is. Never don't have it. Oh, he's exhausted. Emotionally exhausted. Yep, there's a chrome mox. That they didn't... They exiled a skyclave app. Jesus fucking Christ, he must be fun at parties. Fucking main deck containment priest, like... Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. Makes me want to, like, board out all the... Cool shit. <laughs> like, it's just not fun. Oh, God. And we have Damnation, too, you know? Actually, let's just board in more answers for their stupid stuff. I don't care about Shieldbreaker, really. We board in one card. Let's board in answers. Adds one card. The old path into Armageddon. Classic.
Okay. This is actually a situation where I don't feel bad about using this because I have to. <laughs> oh, what up, Pupski? Are they just not playing anything now that we have damnation in hand? Hilarious. I'm just gonna pass. I have no reason to play this. They have Does Palace Jailer hit anything? Is it Oblivion Ring or is it just creatures? Cool. <sighs> My brain hurts. This has been a fairly exhausting draft. <laughs> oh well. I guess we can still damnation. Do I have any way to get rid of that guy? Well, if we hit one more land, we can sneak Gristlebrand and then... Ne Jailer is always a creature, even if you're not the monarch. I'm asking what it can take. Uh, It'll be the fucking game. Perfect. Just perfect. Hmm. Cool. Fun. Very fun. <laughs> 